Well, good morning, Michael. How are you? So here's what I was thinking. I'm great. How are you guys? Good. Very well. So here's what I was thinking this morning. How many sporting events do you think the two of you have been to in your time in New England? Oh. Seriously. Uh, Pro- a few. Probably, yeah. Probably not as much as you think, just because based on this show, I can't be at Fenway Park at 11 o'clock right. at night in a, in a 2-2 ball game, but but quite a few. Yeah, but but over the over the years. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you two have been to thousands of New England sporting events. Yeah, we're old. Yeah, so <laughs> we're old. <laughs> that was the point I was trying to make. Yeah. All right. We're not going to Michael. create a scenario for us, Michael, yeah. that the Chiefs yeah. win this game short of a first quarter injury to Tom Brady. Um, hard to, hard to, because it's not a team that runs it very well. Uh, and look, people have moved the ball in the Patriots. I think the one thing that is as a bit of misnomer nationally, at least, is the Patriots have the worst defense because they give up the most yards. Mm-hmm. If you start looking at the points, the points are in the middle of the pack. That has been something we've seen with Belichick teams. A little more here over the last few years, some a function of offense getting out to big leads. So I think because of that, that's the only way you can do is throw it against them. Now, if, the, if there is an injury or two in the secondary and Palco gets a couple of seconds to throw the ball, there are receivers who can make plays, who can just go up and do what Calvin Johnson's been doing, just catch jump balls. Uh, Jonathan Baldwin, their freshman a rookie receiver out of Pitt, all the way from his freshman year at Pittsburgh, was going up and making spectacular plays. Dwayne Bowe on the other side, you've seen him star over the years. That would be the one scenario where they may get in trouble if the night goes a wrong way early for New England. So you don't think if the Chiefs can kind of hang around for the first quarter, it's not going to be Jackie Battle in a cloud of dust for most of the first half? Uh, it, it, it might be. It, it, it might be. They've run the ball okay. Right. But I, I just think there is just way, way too much in terms of the passing game that you need to do to win mm-hmm. unless you're Tim Tebow. And Tyler Palco is mobile, but he's not Tim Tebow. This is not an offense that is geared to run it 45 or 50 times. They're just not. Look, your best players on offense, they, they've had an awful year. They've lost their best safety, their best tight end, their best quarterback, their best running back here. So you take that off any team and you're going to struggle. But still, the guys who can make plays for them are Dexter McCluster, who's not an every down back, but he's more of an out-of-the-backfield guy, and the two receivers, Bo and Baldwin, this rookie who, he, the guy is freaky tall and has great hands. He can go up and make a big play. I've seen him do it three times in just the five games he's played. I assume you've been able to do this, but I have not seen Tyler Palco throw the football. He's thrown 13 passes in the NFL. You could watch all of them on video in about 15 seconds. Have you seen how he throws the ball? All 30 snaps, yeah. As a matter of fact, actually, Dale, I've I probably broadcast four or five of his games at Pitt. So I, I, I've seen the kid play for a while and know him. Lefty, fiery, dad a high school coach, uh, one of those kids who, you know, from early on was – born to be a, a quarter a football player and bred to be a quarterback. So the game, you know, guys get out there in their first starts and they can't understand what's going on defensively in terms of reading defenses. This guy can. Uh, just in talking with him last night, the language he uses, the level of understanding he has of offense is a lot higher than a guy rolling out there for his first start. So at least there's knowledge. It's just the experience. He's only taken 30 snaps in two years. He couldn't make it in the CFL. He couldn't make it in the UFL. He's been cut by multiple NFL teams. So obviously the talent hasn't been there. But it's the first time he's had a couple of years in a program, a couple of years to be a backup. And I think you'll see him out of the pocket rolling around. And because he's a lefty, he'll be a little bit, diff- a little bit different looking, I think, than you see with other quarterbacks and with the Chiefs that you've seen this past year. Sports Radio WEEI, now on 93.7 FM in Boston.